So let's talk about designing a program with procedures. First of all, if you have a really short program, like let's say less than a page or about a page of code, there's no point. Uh, don't bother. But otherwise, if your program is getting fairly long, um, at some point it gets too long and it gets a little unwieldy and it's a good idea to break it up and procedures are a good way to do that. So what you can do is list the major steps of the procedure and see if it makes sense of, of your program rather, which presumably is one big event procedure or something like that, and see if it makes sense to use a procedure for each major step or maybe not for each of them but for some of them. So that's one way you can make a program more readable and approachable is just to break the major steps up so each one is its own procedure. Another way is to look for places where you're repeating basically the same operation over and over again and that would be a good candidate for creating a procedure as well. So two kinds of situations where it makes sense. Now once you've decided to make some piece of code into a procedure, uh, you have to realize it's going to be separated out into its own definition from the rest of the code, which is still going to be in your main event procedure. And then you have to ask yourself, well, okay, what information is this piece of code, this procedure going to need to know in order to do its work? And there are two ways the procedure can get information from the rest of the program. You can get it from global variables. Um, and that could also include things like text that's in text boxes that it has access to. And um, also the parameters, which is the place where the calling procedure can send information to the procedure being called. Um, and then you want to think about what should be handled by local variables. And keep in mind that variables should be local unless there's some overriding reason to make them global. So that's an important design principle that we're going to use. Now once you've decided to come up with a procedure, it's a good idea to write a brief description of what it does, what global variables it changes, and what parameters it needs. And if it's a function, include what values it returns. And then what you want to do, uh, once you've done this for your whole design, is to step through it uh, by hand and make sure that at each stage, all the information that each piece of code needs is available to it. The other thing to keep in mind is that you should have tests available to use before you start writing or changing your code. Now once you're ready to do the implementation, probably the biggest thing is don't do the whole program at once. Somehow there's this, a lot of people have the urge to sit down, write the whole thing, or if we're modifying um, a procedure, do all the modifications and then start testing. Well, that's a big mistake. Uh, it makes it too hard to figure out where the bugs are and if you're like me, you're totally gonna have bugs. So what you wanna do is just write one procedure or maybe parts of a couple of procedures and test and keep testing as you go along and keep adding bits of functionality um, to your design until you have everything. Also, it, there's no harm at all in writing extra printing code, and this applies in general. Some people don't want to write even one word of extra code. You know, oh, that's too much work. Why should I do that? Well, there can be very important reasons. So you need to be able to see what your program is doing a lot of the time in order to figure out where mistakes might be or just to make sure you're on the right track. So writing extra printing code, uh, which you later can put into a comment or... Uh, just put into a procedure that never gets called or something like that, that's, that can be a giant time saver if it helps you debug your program faster. So don't practice this false economy of never writing any extra printing code. Now, the main examples that I'm going to show you are what's called refactoring. And this means rewriting existing code to improve it. Uh, when this happens is when you have a program that you like that's working, but maybe you've kept adding features to it or something, and it's gotten to a point where it's messy. You know, your original concept didn't quite uh, stretch to include everything you've done, so you had to work around things, 
or maybe it's just getting too long. And at that point, um, changing and improving the code structure can really help. And that is what refactoring is. So for our example, we're going to redo the ice cream version 2 program, and I'll make this in a separate video. And your assignment 4 is going to do the same thing with your assignment 3, or you can start fresh with an alternative program, which we'll post in the week 4 folder. And I'll also post a version of the completed um, procedurized, if we want to call it that, assignment 4 in the same folder. Alright, so I'll see you in the next video.